Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to validate a URL using Kotlin. So let's get right into it. So, before we begin, make sure you import java.lang.exception and java.net.url. We'll be needing both of these for this tutorial. So, in our main function, we have got val input equals this URL. This is going to be the URL we want to validate. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do print line is valid URL input in brackets. This will be the function we make in a moment and it returns a true or false depends on if the URL is valid or not. And we obviously pass in the URL we want to validate. So I just want to say validating means we're checking if a URL is of the correct format. We're not checking if it exists. So let's go and define our is valid URL function. So basically we're going to do fun is valid URL, URL, colon, string, colon, boolean. So it's a function, it's called is valid URL. We're going to have one parameter called URL and it's going to be a string. And we do boolean at the end because we want to return a true or false depending on if it's valid or not. Inside, we're going to do try URL in uppercase, bracket, URL in lowercase, bracket, return true, catch e exception, return false. So this is a lot, but I'm going to break it down. So this is a try catch statement. Try catch statement is you try some code. If an error occurs, you catch the program and catch that error so it doesn't crash. And then you can execute anything in the catch statement. Like you could print out the error. You could just return false. You can do whatever you want. And then after you just carry on with the code like normal. So basically what we're doing with this line of code is we're going to be trying to pass this string into a URL object. If an error occurs, then we return false because it's invalid. Because if it's not an, a valid URL, an error is going to occur because the URL object can't deal with something that's not a URL when you're trying to pass it in. But if this string is a valid URL, it's going to be fine because it's that's what it's meant to do. So then we can return a true because no error occurred. We can tell it's valid or invalid based on if an error occurs. There are other ways you can do this like a rejects, but this is just a really quick way to get it done. So that's basically it. So we're going to save our work and then hit play. And it says true because that's a valid URL. But what if we did something like Actually, no, let's do HTTPS first to show that that works. And it's true. But what if we did just Jeff.com? Well, that's false because it doesn't have the HTTPS part. But if we were to put that in and then hit play, well, it's true. And what if we put one, two, three? Well, it's false. So thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Kotlin tutorials.